Hi, I'm Chris Thomas and I'm going to show you how I create focus stacks from a series of images that I've taken through the microscope uh, using a program called Helicon Focus. I've opened the program here and in a separate folder I have a whole series of different diatom images that I've taken but I'm going to concentrate on this series here where I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight images that I've taken through a diatom and I'm going to import them into Helicon Focus just by dragging and dropping them onto the screen and you can now see that they're loaded here on the right hand side. You can also go to File and then open your images and then you can pick the same images from oops, not too sure which ones they are actually um, anyway you can you can pick there they are uh, you can pick the same images and import them by highlighting them and then clicking on open now we have the images here and they are going to be stacked using a process called rendering where the program looks for the elements that are in focus in each image. But before I do that I notice that there are these little black spots on the images and they're dust in the microscope light path and also possibly on the camera sensor that takes the picture. Helicon Focus allows you to subtract those images those little spots if you take a blank picture. So I've taken a blank picture and I'm going to set a dust map. So let's go to File, Set Dust Map and I then have to find the next blank image before my sequence. So my sequence is here and I generated a blank image where there was nothing on the microscope. It's just taken through the same objective with the same camera all the same settings apart from the, having the slide in place. Choose that picture and that is going to be my dust map. You can see at the bottom I can now I now have my dust map set and I have a variety of methods here on the right hand side to actually stack my image. By trial and error I found that the best one for me is a method called method C pyramid stacking. So that's automatically set whenever I come in and I just have to click on render but you can choose any of those methods. Anyway back to method C and click on render. You see on the left hand side the images are now they've all got a different focus and they've now all been combined to give us this lovely f image where all the planes are in focus and I can save that by clicking on saving and then go to save and I can save this image now into my folder of stacks and I'm just going to call it uh, demonstration diatom 1 okay I'll save it there and I can choose what quality level I want to save it at and I tend to choose high so that's okay and the image will now be saved to my folder and will appear for example here in my Picasso album which is a way of storing my images and finding them. So back to the Helicon focus. Now the other thing you can do with those stacked images is to create a 3D model to actually get a better impression of the shape of the diatom. For that you go to the right hand side and here's an option export 3D model. So click on that and what happens is that it takes all those images that you've, you've uh, combined and it calculates what the 3D shape might be. Now that is a lot more visualizing the shape of the diatom. 
Now you can change the speed at which this is rotating. So make it slower, make it faster. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. You can zoom in. And you can also choose the rotation angle, so how strongly the image is tilted for you. And go back a bit that way. And you can change the relief, so you can either make it a higher relief to exaggerate the form, or to go something that is more realistic. I'm actually going to lower the relief. There, I think that's more a more realistic shape. And what I'm using as a guide is how circular these little patches look when you get down to the side of the diatom. So having done that, you can actually save this as a video to share with people. And to do that you go to File, Save Video, and then set the quality that you want to save. So I'm going to save at high definition which is 1920 by 1080. There you go. I'm going to click on Save. It asks me where I want to save the image and what file name I want to give it, so I'm call it demonstration video one and it gives me one option. It's H264 video and that's good enough for YouTube and for other programs as well. So that's the format that I can save as. Now the program has to chunter through to do the calculations. So what's going to happen is we'll let it chunter through and I'll come back to you when it's actually reached something like 99%. Okay, we're reaching 99%. The video should be almost completely generated now. And hopefully we'll be back to the screen that we expect. There we go. And we can open the saved video directly from Helicon Focus or from whatever folder you've saved it in using a video program. And here again, this is then the video that's been that's been made. I'm going to close down the video and I will also close down this 3D program. Top right hand corner, close. And I'm back to where my rendering in the focus stack was. Now to, we'll go through the process again, but before we do, if we want to put some a new diatom in, we need to get rid of these images. The way we're going to do that is to go to File and Remove All Images. And yes, I want to exclude them all. I'm also going to remove my dust map because I generate one every so often for a new set of pictures when I'm doing a photographic series. So the pictures I want to use this time are this lovely diatom here. So I'm going to drag the images across again as I did before. And you can see that there is a dust map picture next to it. So I will import that file. Set dust map. Go to my folder. Find those images. Oh, gone too far. Aha. There we go. Actually, I think the dust map is there. It's that one. So I'll click on that one. Open. So my dust map is set. I have my 17 images and I'll just click on render and I'm using method C. And you can see on the left hand side how the focus is differing as you go from picture to picture. And this is going down into the diatom. 
there we have our image you remember we go to saving then we go to save find the folder that we're interested in and I'm just going to call this demonstration stack 01 I'm going to use high quality for saving and you can see that the image has been saved and appears in my folder. Again I'm going to go to create a 3D model, so I go to export 3D model. And here we now have the diatom in display. Now it's interesting, it looks to be quite deep here in these sections, and I think actually this diatom frustule is upside down and open for view. Now you can flip the orientation of the diatom by going here on the right hand side to invert surface. So at the moment the area is mostly focused down, down at the bottom, and if I click on invert surface you get this structure which is far more representative uh, of the diatom but remember it is probably glued to the slide at these points and we're looking at it upside down we've just inverted it theoretically again I could go to file and I could go to save the video set it at my setting go to save give it a file name and click on save and as before it's going to take a little while for it to work its way through so I'll come back to you once it's got to 99% and I'm back to you as the video save is nearing completion. I can open the saved video file either from my folder directly or here within Helicon Focus to see the lovely video that I've generated. To get out I close down your program I could go back to view and perhaps change things such as the relief so it was a bit too exaggerated that might be more realistic if you look here at the shape of the uh, the little patterns on the side and then I could save another one if I wanted to but when I'm finished I go to the top right hand corner close the program and I'm back to the rendering screen when I've finished with Helicon Focus, um, I just simply click on the top right hand order to close, or you can go to File and you can exit. And that's the demonstration. So have fun playing with Helicon Focus and enjoy it as much as I do. Goodbye.